Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be swapping out the suspension. I don't know if you guys seen how bouncy this is compared to that. Um, this one has lowering springs and some kind of strut. I don't know what, what name brand it is. Uh, this is all eBay stuff. But as you guys can see, the suspension on this car is very stiff. And this is kind of what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and swap out the rear on both of these sides and we'll compare them i'm gonna throw you guys on a time lapse I was able to knock it out pretty quick. I went ahead and I threw it over here. And this might be an eBay brand because the name of this is Max Speed. I don't know if that's a name or the name of the actual company or what it is. But now we're gonna go ahead and pull the one that's on this side and swap it over i'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out and i'll continue recording once it's completely out suspension is out and look at the difference this is from nesquik and this is the other suspension um you can see that let me push this down Ugh. all right it's a little bit shorter once it's pushed down so I might have to adjust the height on it a little bit. But besides that, um, this eBay suspension has held up for quite a while now. I pieced this all together about two years ago. Control arm, strut, lowering uh, spring, the sleeve, and the top hat. That was all pieced together by me. And it's held up and it's been really, really stiff the suspension as you guys seen at the beginning of the video so i'm gonna go ahead throw this one onto nest quick and then we'll start assembly with that one so you guys can see the process suspension is on nest quick we're gonna go ahead and lower the civic and see where we end up 
Wow, look at that. I have like a three finger gap in here. How is that possible? Oh, you know what? It's got that much gap because right now it's leaned over that way. So it's kind of like lifted up a little bit. So once I get the other side, it should level down and up. So up and down. Otherwise, it's looking like a dunk. Look at that. Let's get back to this one and throw the other suspension in there. I got everything pretty nice and snug um, I'm gonna wait to preload this side until I have the other side completely assembled once I have the other side assembled I'm gonna go ahead and preload the whole system and then I'm gonna loosen up these bolts preload the system and then once it's sitting correctly I'll go ahead and tie everything down I'll show you guys most likely at the end of the video how to do that all right so this side's completely assembled the car is ready to be set down. It got a little bit dark outside, so I'm gonna try to do this quickly. And right now what we're gonna do is we are gonna preload the suspension. I know it's kind of dark, so I'm gonna try to do this pretty quick. So right now, all my bolts at the bottom, there's there should be three of them. All three of those at the bottom are loose same thing on the other side on the control arm so i'm gonna go ahead lower my car everything's nice and low let me get a flashlight real quick so now that i got the car down the bushing that's that sits in the control arm should be nice and straight so if I would have tied this and then lower the car, the bushing would have turned a little bit. And eventually, over time, that bushing would start to break right there. So by preloading the car, how I'm doing it now, it's gonna save the bushings on the control arms. So now that all the weight is sitting on the control arms, I'm gonna go ahead and tie in the bolts. All three on this side and all three on the other side. It's kind of hard to get under here, but I got enough space to get under here. I got one more to go. I'm gonna go ahead and the other side and then I'll go and come back for the last two. So I just finished tightening everything up on both sides and I think this is going to be the end of this video. I got the rear suspension done, swapped out, which is what I 
wanted and what I needed. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do the same to the front suspension, maybe tomorrow. Another thing that I gotta do is those brakes, that e-brake. I gotta fix that before I do anything with the engine, before I do the engine swap. My camera is about to die. The battery is really low. So I will catch you guys on my next video. Till then, peace out, stay safe. Catch you guys later.